Hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing a short review on two limited edition products from Sephora. They're both kind of face palette products and I wanted to talk about them just because they're limited edition, they're not super cheap, and I wanted to give you my opinion. So these are the two products. First one is a Tarte blush color wheel. Second one is the Hourglass Ambient, Ambient something palette. Ambient lighting edit. This is the packaging for the Hourglass product and this is the packaging for the Tarte product. So I had high hopes for both of these things originally, but I struggled over whether or not to buy them before I purchased them. Just because uh, this one I bought like as soon as it came out so it didn't have any reviews, but I love Tarte blushes so you know, I had high hopes. And this one, I've never used an Hourglass product before. I've never owned one. I've always wanted to try one. Personally, I don't think limited edition products are the best place to start because there's usually a reason, reason why they're limited edition. But the packaging drew me in. It's beautiful. It's so freaking pretty. But um, it, has, it has very, very mixed reviews on Sephora's website. And I'm going to talk about it first. So originally, when I first purchased this, it was after weeks of deliberation, I didn't know. I was like, well, I could buy one, or I could actually have bought like two Hourglass products for the price of this one, and this was $80, and part of me kind of thought that I would rather do that, just because it had such mixed reviews. But upon reading review after review after review, I decided to just get it and try it out, and if I didn't like it, I could return it. So when I first got it, I didn't like it. Uh, the first couple times I used it, I was like, what is the point of this? It doesn't do anything. You have to use a ton of product to get it to show up because it's not like, it's not like your normal bronzer highlight thing. Like it's not supposed to be in your face. I don't think now I've come to that conclusion after reading more reviews of other Hourglass products. I've kind of come to the conclusion that they're supposed to create like a glow from within effect, not really like this super chiseled, contoured, you know, whatever, bombshell thing that I expected. So when I adjusted my expectations, I actually ended up really li liking this. I'm not using it today, but this is what it looks like. It comes with two blushes, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a finishing powder. So this is the finishing powder. These are the two blushes, highlight and bronzer. One thing I will say is that this does lean more towards the warm side and it probably is more or is better suited for lighter skin tones because what it has going on in it is not very dark. Like I'm pretty fair and I think the bronzer is perfect for me and I am also warm skin toned. So the colors work for me, but if you are very cool or very neutral, I'm not sure how it would work for you. And I've heard from other cool neutral people that it's not like super, super suitable for their skin tones. So anyway, here's what it looks like again. This powder I think would suit anyone, but again, you're paying for the whole palette, not just one powder. And that powder is amazing. It's a finishing powder. It's meant to be dusted over very lightly all over your entire face. And it does add a very nice kind of glow without being super, super noticeable. I love this bronzer. Uh, it's not dark. It's not super, it's not sun-kissed, you know, I just went to the beach for six days type of thing. It's pretty subtle, but I do think that it's beautiful. And I feel the same way about both of the blushes. The only product in this palette that I'm not super keen on is the highlighter. Uh, I don't really like the tone of it. It's really kind of peachy, I think. I don't know if peachy is the right word. It's like it's supposed to be a champagne gold color, but I don't, I don't feel like it translates that way at least not on my skin. And maybe I just need to try it out a little bit more, but I just have other highlighters that I prefer over it at the moment. I mean, I just swatched it on my hand. I don't know, I don't think I can get my camera to focus on it, but it does look pretty when I just did that. I've never swatched this before. I've only, you know, applied it directly to my face. But the swatch looked nice. It is a little orangey, like peachy orangey kind of. Maybe that's why I don't like it. I lean more towards like the really light champagne glowy highlights. I don't know. 
but four out of five products isn't bad and I do think that these will last a long time. I mean, it takes me a really long time to go through powders anyway, and these are quite small, but I don't use very much of them when I do use them because that's kind of the point. Like when I first got it, I was trying to be really heavy handed and just, you know, get it to really show up. And I don't think that that's the point. I think that you're supposed to use it lightly with a light hand and it create this very subtle but beautiful kind of angelic effect, you know what I'm saying? So overall, I would recommend this, but like I said, there are stipulations. It is warmer and it is a lot lighter. So uh, if you're a light skin, warm tone beauty, you might like this. So yeah, that's my opinion. Second product is this, the Tarte Color Wheel and I'm gonna open it and show it to you. It has uh, 10 different shades in it, and I had really high expectations for this, and I, overall, I'm pleased. Um, there are a couple shades in it that I feel are very, very, very disappointing, but for the most part, they're pretty. Like, I don't feel like the highlighters have that great of payoff. The Idol, Idol has better payoff than Crafty. Crafty, you, I really have to dig my brush into that to get, like, any payoff at all. And that's even with a, with a swatch. I mean, it's just not... Maybe mine's faulty, I don't know, but I just don't like the formula of that particular one. And I haven't used their individual... Um, highlights i think that they only have one out in the color exposed which exposed is my very very favorite blush but i haven't tried the highlighter yet in general though i feel like it has a very generous range of colors for the blushes i mean i feel like all of them are work well on my skin tone so i'm happy with that and they all have pretty good color payoff like i said the only thing about this is that one this highlighter right here, which it looks all messy around it because I keep trying to get more color out of it. Um, but yeah, I would say that my favorite tone right now is this one and it's called Iconic. But if you've ever used Amazonian clay blushes from Tarte before, they have good color payoff. They're great blushes. And I do feel like this holds true to that. It was $45, I believe, and you get 10 different colors in it. and like I said before with that palette, it takes me forever to go through powders, so I feel like this will last a really long time, and if you really like a range when you're traveling, this is perfect. It's not very big, and it's compact, and it has a lot of options. So I would recommend this as well. I think it would be a great gift, because these are from the holiday ranges, and they would both be great gifts for any beauty lover, but um, I think this is more suitable to all skin tones, whereas the other one, like I said before, is you know more exclusive to one side. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.